Hey everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a few quick tips to save some money on Adobe Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud is the most comprehensive creative suite available on any platform, but it doesn't come cheaply. Creative Cloud was actually launched back in 2011 as a monthly or yearly subscription, but at that time, you could still buy Adobe software outright. Fast forward a couple of years, and the only way to access any Adobe services or software is by having an active Creative Cloud subscription. So hopefully these tips that I give you today can help you save a little bit of cash. Let's just dive right into it with our biggest tip. What we're gonna do is head over to the Adobe website, sign in with our Adobe account, and here you'll be greeted with this welcome back message. From here, what you wanna do is select on the manage account button right under the welcoming message. This page here will show you all the Adobe services that we're currently subscribed to. And here you can see on this account, we have the full Creative Cloud plan, which gives us access to 30 plus Adobe services and applications for $76.99 a month. You may also notice that I'm actually signed up for the seven day free trial here, but after the seven days is over, I'll be going onto the monthly subscription fee. When you compare the cost of a full Creative Cloud plan for $76.99 a month, or for paying for an app or two individually, to me, it just makes sense to get the full Creative Cloud suite, unless you really only need one app. For example, if we were gonna pay for two apps, say Photoshop and Premiere Pro, we'd be paying $29.99 a month or $60 a month for two apps. For an extra 17 bucks, you can get access to a whole lot more from Adobe. Anyway, let's get back to it. From here, you see an option of manage plan, where you have the choice of either changing your current plan or canceling your plan altogether. We're gonna select on the cancel plan option, which is gonna take us to a four step page to cancel our current subscriptions. You can see the four steps above, which are feedback, details, offers, and review. We're currently on the feedback page, which is asking us why we want to cancel our subscription. And it's also confirming that we're currently on the $76.99 a month Creative Cloud plan. For feedback, I'm just going to select there's not enough time to trial and hit continue. This is going to load us into the details page. The details page is basically Adobe saying that if you continue to cancel your plan, you're going to lose access to all these amazing Adobe software and services. But we're gonna persevere, we're gonna hit continue, and this is gonna take us to the third page, which is the offers page. On the offers page, you'll see they're now offering us a discounted rate of $43.99 a month for the first year of Creative Cloud, instead of $76.99. That's a savings of $33 a month, or just under $400 in a year. Honestly, this is nuts, especially when you compare it to paying $30 a month for one app. For a couple bucks more, you get the entire Creative Cloud suite. But keep in mind, this is only for 12 months, and after that, you go back to paying full price. But seriously, if you need or you want Creative Cloud, a $400 savings to me sounds pretty great. So just wanna pause there for a second and let you know that this is a very automated way of doing it. If you go on YouTube, there are a few people that have said they've spoken with an Adobe rep directly, and they've got an even better discount. I tried speaking with an Adobe rep to see if they could beat this 40% discount that I was getting, but this was the best deal that they would give me. If you have time, you might wanna try to reach out to an Adobe rep, but I personally think to go from 76 to 43 a month is a really big savings. If you're happy with the new price of 43.99 a month, simply select on the get details button. This is gonna take you to a change plan page, and this is gonna show you your new plan costs, but your same Creative Cloud suite. So instead of paying 76.99 a month, you're now paying 43.99 a month for the first year. If you're happy with that, hit confirm and you're all set. That was my biggest tip to save you some money on Adobe Creative Cloud, but I've got a few smaller ones as well. If we head back over to the Adobe website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and on the left-hand side, you see a subheading called products and a few hyperlinks under that. Second from the bottom is a special office page, which is Adobe's current in-market promos. Clicking on this, you'll see the latest discounts and promos from Adobe, for example, the 10 free stock images or the two week free trial of Adobe Spark that are currently in market. And of course, if you didn't know, students and educators get a massive 70% off Adobe Creative Cloud. So if you currently are studying or you have an active email address, I would definitely recommend using it to access the full Creative Cloud suite for a fraction of the price. And using an education discount doesn't have the 12 month time limit like the tip above. And there you have it. There are a few of my tips to save some money on Adobe Creative Cloud. If you found them useful, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you have any of your own tips, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Happy creating. And I'll see you guys next time.